Hello and welcome grade 10s. The questions that we are going to cover will give you an idea of what you should expect in an assessment. Before we start, it is a good idea that you revise all algebraic expressions theory. The tasks in this video can also be found in a written form in the series guide, which is called Algebraic Expressions. Let's get started. Question 1 requires us to complete the table by placing a cross in the correct columns. The numbers listed are 4 over 9, cube root of 27, 0, 0,2384, 3, 4, pi, and 0, 0,231 recurring. Moving on to question 2 now. Determine between which two integers the following thirds lie square root of 39, cube root of 49, square root of 19, and negative square root of 34. Question 3 asks us to determine the value of the square root of 12, correct to two decimal places, and to round off to three decimal places, the number 26,48999. Question 4 asks us to round the following values to the nearest rand. 867 rand and 20 cents. 32 rand and 75 cents. And 10,334 rand and 99 cents. Now that we've covered some basic skills, let's move on to questions that involve finding the products of and factorizing algebraic expressions. Question 5 asks us to simplify three different expressions. 5.1 is 5x, open brackets, x squared plus y minus 6, close brackets, minus 2y, open brackets, x squared minus 5x plus 3, close brackets. 5.2 is negative, open brackets, 3z plus 2z, minus 3, close brackets. 5.3 is 7x squared, y, open brackets, negative 2xy squared, plus 7x squared, y minus 10, close brackets. Now let us look at question 6. This question again asks us to simplify the following. 6.1 is 3x plus 2 times by x minus 6. 6.2 is 2x minus 3y times 3x minus 2y. 6.3 is x minus 3 squared. 6.4 is 2z minus 6 times by 2z plus 6. 6.5 is negative 3 times by 2x minus 5 squared. 6.6 is a minus 2b plus 3 times by a plus 2b plus 3. Question 7 asks us to simplify, open brackets, x minus 2, close brackets, open brackets, x squared minus 2x plus 3, close brackets, and x minus y cubed. Now that we've seen a number of problems involving products, let's look at some that need to be factorized. Time for question 8. Factorize fully. 2x cubed plus 8x squared plus 16x squared y. 2a squared minus 8b to the power of 4. 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. 18x squared plus 3x minus 8y squared plus 2y. 54 times x to the power of 5 times y minus 250 times x squared times y. 
open brackets, x squared minus 1, close brackets, to the power of 2 minus 9. 6y squared minus 3y minus 18. 4x squared times open brackets y minus 1 close brackets plus 1 minus y. 2p plus 2q plus b into brackets minus p minus q. Remember to always check that you have fully factorized. As you can see from these examples, we are often required to do more than one step to get a fully factorized answer. The last question. Question 9 asks us to simplify the following. 4x squared plus 8x over 4x, y over y minus 1, minus 12 over y squared, minus 1, minus 6 over y plus 1. x minus 5 times x plus 1 plus 4 times x plus 1 over x plus 1. x divided by 1 minus x over y plus y divided by 1 minus y over x. 3x minus x cubed minus 2 over 4 x squared plus 1 over 12 x. Open brackets 2 x minus 3 plus 4 x squared divided by 2 x close brackets to the power of 2. Open brackets 2 minus x close brackets to the power of 2 over x cubed minus 8. 9.8 x to the power of 4 minus 16 over 16x divided by 4x squared plus 16 over 4x squared. 3x minus 1 over x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus x over x minus 3 squared. Great tens, thank you for joining us once again. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep in mind that the answers to these tasks are available for downloading on the Mindset website. Until next time, goodbye.